On this episode of Public Announcement, Hip TV will be taking an interesting look at the Lagos State Transport and Management Agency, popularly called LASMA, the government body created by the state government to maintain order and free flow of traffic on major roads. Welcome to another episode of Public Announcement. To understand the goals and objective of this state government parastata, it is imperative to share the vision and mission statement of LASMA. Their vision is to ensure free flow of traffic for better social economic activities in the state. And similar but more encompassing is their mission statement, which is to reduce deaths, injuries and economic losses from road traffic accidents, conflicts, congestion and delays on the public highways in Lagos State by employing modern traffic management techniques to inject order and control into the road traffic system. From the vision and mission statements, it's clear that the primary duty of the body is to maintain a Lagos State with less or no traffic congestions. Further entrenching these responsibilities is the Lagos State Governor, his Excellency Babatunde Fashola, who recently said the primary responsibility of LASTMA is to ensure free flow of traffic and not to arrest motorists. <music> However, that has entirely not been the case as some LASTMA officials have aside disposing their legitimate duties, also taking laws into their hands to act outside their jurisdiction. <music> On the 14th of November 2013, an official of last month was caught on video demanding bribe from a motorist suspected to have broken a traffic law. The governor's statement came barely a week after the junior LASMA official was caught demanding for a 8,000 naira bribe from the motorist who contravened traffic rules. The governor re-emphasized the primary duty of LASMA operatives at the induction of new special traffic mayor, STM, and an interactive session of mayors and LASMA personnel. He said, if in arresting those who contravene traffic rules and regulations in the state, a last mile official will create traffic, it is better he allows the offender to go. The governor buttressed this point by stating, I say this not because I don't want lawbreakers to be brought to justice, but because we need to keep traffic in Lagos moving at all times. In addition, he saluted the courage of the motorists that recorded the event, adding that by exposing the bad eggs in the agency and other government ministries, departments and parastatals, corruption will be reduced drastically in the country. In response to this, a concerned Nigerian compared our local laws to laws made in foreign countries. In his statement, he explained how laws are made primarily to change behavior. In his words, Nigerians make laws to punish punitively. It never works even in more organized society. Why would I pay government 8,000 naira when I would give the hungry official 2,000 naira and cuss him out after leaving the scene? If Lagos State is serious, what it would have done and should do is to charge offenders 2,000 naira and give a receipt with full information on the offending driver and computerize and store this information. Whenever the offender comes to do anything with the Lagos State Motor Vehicle Office, the points accumulated will show in the offender's driver's license. That is when the change of behavior starts taking place and the change will be permanent. Unfortunately, those in positions to manage institutions in Nigeria care less about cause and effect. <music> However, not to have a one-sided story, Hip TV also spoke to some last month officials to get their view on public perception on their performance. There are a lot of challenges we are facing in, with the public. You no, know, we have uh, uh, we have a uh, lot of negative things 
that are negative forces against the last men on the road. I don't know, maybe because of the uniform, they don't like seeing the uniform men do their working. So when you are working, they, they saw you doing something, instead of them to, 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 to assist you in making that thing come to success, they will just try to instigate people against, you know, just to molest you. And it's wrong. Actually, the first challenge we have is uh, they are the journalists. Yes. The journalists themselves. Yes, the journalists. And when they say anything negative about last man or uniform men, they will go on here, they will go on uh, YouTube, they will publish it on newspaper, wherever. But the, the positive things about the uniform men, they will not pick it. The lot of last man died on the road, being killed, being molested. No newspaper, no journalist pick that one. Uh, the publish will be enlightened. They will say, uh, we, 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 are, we are under the sun walking from morning to night, resuming 6 o'clock in the morning, close at 10 o'clock at night. Nobody, nobody see that one. But if they see anything negative, they, start, they will just blare off. So that is, that is, we have many challenges like that. Like uh, the, the, the public, the passenger, the commuter, even, even, even the, 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 the transporters themselves. You have some uniform men operating commercial vehicles on the road. They stop at where they are not supposed to stop. When you, when you talk to them, they are ready to beat you to, 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 to do whatever to, to, to what they like because they, have, they are a uniform man. So, and last month, they, 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 we are tight. Our hands are tight. When you do this, they will say, why did you do that? But they are ready to kill you on the road. Nobody is ready to help you out. So what do you want us to do? There's no, no, any, I don't think there's any difficulties uh, about the traffic light. Some drivers complain that the traffic light, the timing at times is always too late. And it affects the way last men operate. And when they move, and maybe the last man tells them not to move, they get arrested with it. We want to talk about it. What, 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 I, what I observed was that the, the commuters themselves, that is the, the drivers themselves, the car users themselves, they, don't, they are not concentrating anytime they are driving. Before that light could say, be on, on red, it, there are some signs that it will give to you. That you have to, that's why when you are driving, you have to, uh -huh, you have to observe the road sign when you are driving. That yellow one will give you a sign that you must be ready, get to, ready stop to stop or get ready to go. before the red light okay. comes on. So now, because they are not concentrating, that, red, that amber is on. They will not even look at it. They want to go before the, that red, red, amber light is off. Before that, before they move, the red, the red light is on. So now they will say they arrest them for beating the, 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 the disobeying uh, the, 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 the traffic or uh, something. An African Nigerian is enough because they always want to maneuver the law to, to, to suit them, to favor themselves. Once you arrest them, they see it as an avenue that, okay, well, maybe you are victimizing them, which is not so. We're not the, we are not the maker of the law. The law was made for everybody. We all sat down. We, 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 we elected the representatives who are represent us to make the law. And once they pass the law, all of us will approve it. And once it is made by the majority of the people, we have to abide by it. Inability to abide by it, that is, that is what, that's what is always causing crisis or commotion in the society. Like the traffic law now, we are not the one that made it. It was, at least, it was passed through the first reading, the second reading, the third reading, before it was, it was approved by all the House members. And even, it, it, is, it, is, it is done by all the stakeholders, both the National Union, both the private owners of the vehicle, and so on, and, 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 and the public themselves. And it is, it is published in the newspaper, on the, uh, in all the media, in, in all the media, newspaper, radio, television, and beast, and so on and so forth. There are, some, there are so many publicities on the road for everybody to get aware with what is going on in the town. Even maybe for two, three months. Look at the issue of Okada. The issue of Okada was, was blared on the radio, on the TV, on the newspaper. At the end of the day, they were still committing that offense. Don't ride on the highway, they will go to the highway and ride. Don't ride against traffic, they will ride against traffic. Don't ride on the walkway, they will ride on the walkway. You can see what you are facing. Even if you give them six months notice for the expiration of the law, People at the, at the expression of the of the notice, they will still go ahead and commit offense. What are, last month, are we not to perform our duty again? And once you arrest them, the public will just say, hey, why are you arresting them? Don't you, don't you want them to eat? Don't you want them to do this and do that? But the government says they don't want it. And it's our duty 
to make sure that we implement the law, to make sure that we enforce the law. Why are they now victimizing us? Why are they now pushing us to the wall? Okay, when, they are, when people are working out, nobody is seeing them. When the rain, when the rain, when the sun, the rain, nobody is seeing them. But when they arrest an offender, there will be uproar. Why all this? That's why the public must be enlightened very well. The advice for them is just to obey the rule and regulation of the road. Obey the traffic rule and regulation. And watch, look for the road sign, obey them. Where there's no parking, don't park. Don't stop, just stop anyhow on the road. Don't cause obstruction. So that is just, just to assist both the, the law enforcement and the other. Also, to get the public's opinion on all these and more, Hip TV went out into the streets to get the general perspective on the agent's performance so far since inception. The main purpose of uh, Lagos State um, putting last month on the, uh, on the road was to initially move the traffic, at least make the road a little bit free. But uh, with my own uh, observation, I think they are causing more um, havoc instead. Uh, let me just yesterday when we were coming from, I think from Magodo, wanted to enter into um, GRA, a last more official on duty, on duty, and um, he just came out of his post and uh, stopped us. He didn't even say we should clear. He just stopped us one of them just entered um entered the front of the vehicle that was a a, a truck entered the, uh, the front of the truck and asked the man to come down so when he stopped he stopped uh our man his uh colleague through the passenger side entered into the vehicle and was struggling with the driver to uh, that is in control of the um the steering uh, what they were, what they were they asking of? They were asking of. Uh, they said uh, permit. So we're like permit for what? They said uh, permit for six, six, uh, six, uh, six uh, for um, vehicles on six tires. So we're surprised. Vehicles on six tires. This is the first time we are hearing this. And even if such a thing exists, we shouldn't be hearing it from Lasma. because I mean we've been coming across road safety. We've been coming across even the police, but we haven't heard this. And the, the so-called last matter was supposed to a, a kind of um, make the road free, usable for Lagosians. They, they caused a lot of traffic that very evening. On even people have to come down from their vehicle and intercede. And this last more feature that I'm talking about, he was drunk. Drunk on duty. His mouth was just smelling uh, alcoholic. A last man on duty. So the thing is, uh, well, it's okay, but um, let me say some of them are not helping issues at all. If they scribe uh, last month today, I don't think it will help issue. Because with the traffic congestion in Lagos State, I think they are doing a good job, but um, I think uh, they, they should be well, well monitored. They should be well, well monitored. It's a very nice, uh, I would like uh, welcome development in uh, Lagos State because uh, I think since uh, they have been working, I can see a very good uh, improvement for them and uh, I think I really appreciate the job that they are doing because uh, they make everything look so easy. Maybe riding on the road, traffic of a thing, those, uh, you know, those stuff. I think we are in Lagos State now, we don't experience much things anymore. Those traffic and uh, mostly, I think, let me even use the opportunity to talk about uh, mostly these uh, downfall drivers and uh, all these uh, uh, commercial buses. I think last one are really doing a very good job that make them to be well disciplined now. I think the way they drive on the road now shows that yes, Lagos State is a very well secure place with last man on the traffic uh, uh, well. The only negative thing I, I will say is that uh, sometimes uh, the, the, the overreaction the over is uh, uh, another thing entirely. Mostly we that, that apply the rules every time, maybe sometimes uh, uh, due to the traffic rules and those things. And uh, I think one of the one of the challenges I've got for them, because uh, there was a day that I'm riding on a, uh, take a, along a Ikeja, and uh, I was like, I missed, I missed the road, you know. So, but although missing the road, I expect the last man to 
understand my point of view that okay ah this place i'm going to okay i just made the road i have to direct me but it was like ah why would i ride like that you know things like that and he wanted to bring out an argument i make it i see Chairman, I miss the road. Not that I don't know where I'm going. Not that I, I know that uh, there is no traffic law, but I miss the road and I don't have anybody to ask. That is why. And for me, meeting you, I don't I have the right to ask you, but the way you are overreacting, that is, I think that is the only way, but they are doing a very nice job. Well, I think they, uh, they are doing beyond what they've been asked to do from the start. You know, initially, you know, the traffic control and everything, they uh, right now they are, they are they are using um, more power. I think they are, they, are, they are beyond their jurisdiction, you know, most times. They are, they are too, I don't know how to put it, but they, they need to be, they need to really, like, put them on back on track. Like, this is what you're meant to be doing, not just, you know, um, bullying these drivers, these downfall drivers and everything. So, that's the only thing. Um, last man, um, let just say, they are trying their job. They are they are trying. They are doing their job a little bit kind, sure. But the fact is that um, they take it some sort of extent that they take um some measure that is not good sometimes. Uh, but they are trying. Um, it, it says that um they stop uh this um this conductor hanging in the bus and that kind of stuff. Actually, like you said, because it used to get me scared sometimes, and they stop. Uh, uh, drivers from uh, you know um, not stopping at not designated area for bus stops, so, so they, are, they, are, they are actually do, they are doing their job, they are trying, but they, they should have to take certain things lightly, like I witnessed them you know trying to beat one uh, this um, driver before, so is that kind of stuff is not good. Everyone have their own right. They should they just just take things calmly and do their work very well. They are trying at least. So certain things I've seen them do is, is really crucial. Uh, the last two weeks in, at Maryland uh, roundabout, that Maryland roundabout, one um, army, let me say the army colonel, he was driving towards the Philly station at that corner his side, and the man doesn't do anything. The last man just stopped the man immediately and gave him a dirty slap, just like that, not knowing that the man is a military man. But the, what, what he do, he just parked by and placed a call. You see, but it's not right for someone to be uh, to be to be driving at the same time you slap that man. It's 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 bad. It's not good. It's not encouraging at all. Yeah, most of them believe that fashion law is there for them, so they are doing the wrong thing at the same time. But it's not encouraging. I don't I don't want them. I don't like their way. Yeah, last man, they they are doing their work. They they perfect their duty very well. I think I want them to stay because. Um, if last mile is not in Lagos State, I don't think uh, one can even drive out. So they are really, really working. My view about LASMA, um, LASMA are quite professional from what I see them doing so far in Lagos because I've been to other states and I see how difficult it is for them to control simple traffic and that. But with LASMA, I mean with the way they work and conduct themselves and somehow other states are adopting them like a template. So for now, I think LASMA they are doing, uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, what LASMA are doing in Lagos City, uh, I think is good. It's good for the citizen. All they need to do is to be patriotic and be sincere with their job. So there will be no tribalism and, uh, I mean, trick. I love them. I have nothing negative to say about them. All I'm going to say is going to be positive because I love them. I prefer them to policemen, you know. I love them. They are doing their work. Kudos to them. Sometimes when they are much older, up, they, they are sometimes a bit confused when they are much older, up. But they do good jobs. Like... I don't have anything and like any problem with them. You know, I believe, you know, when you're assigned to a particular job, you need to understand what you are in for, as in what the job entails. So I believe sometimes most of them get a misconception about their particular kind of job or what they're supposed to do. What I mean by that is this okay, last month there's a particular thing you're supposed to do. You understand? But not you waiting for someone to commit an offense before you pound on it. Do you understand? Most of them, they just wait. And if they see you, just you, you just doing something wrong. They just jump into your car, or yeah, move, you know, all those things. That's wrong. I believe that's not their job. There is a particular person or persons assigned to that. 
their own particular job is different from that. So I believe, but fine. I think the governor has, you know, he has treated that, that let the right people do what they're supposed to do and all those things. So I believe, and I would say, nice one, and let them keep doing what they were assigned to do. In last month, they are overdoing what they are not supposed to do. Like stopping the vehicles anyhow, their uniforms, and um, when a vehicle is like right, they'll be like, um, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that. When the, the government say that someone should not answer call when you're driving, so when they stop like by the roadside to answer call, they'll be like, you're stopping on the wrong direction. So I'll be like, they're not doing the right job. Well, uh, we are having a problem, all the commercial vehicles in Lagos State, we are having a problem with the last man, and that is why you see many of us uh, come to stay under the bridge here, and after loading the unions, collect a good money of our amount from us, you can't move around now. They will tell you neither the seat belt, they will complain one thing or the other. And then when you are moving on the road, like uh, yesterday, there is a, a hold up here. A driver opened up because the place was so heat, the vehicle was not moving. They crossed over and started arresting our vehicle along uh, the police college there. So it's, uh, they are harassing us. They have frustrated uh, many of us. Many of us can come just and stay here from the morning till in the afternoon. We can only go to Gokom. The rest, uh, because we are fearing for last month, if you move, you pick passenger on the bus stop, they will say you stop on authorized place. So it is so embarrassing. And uh, we have been complaining. Though, you know, drivers have no union. They have frustrated many of us. Like me now, I'm planning to travel to go back to my state because of the embarrassment. They have killed and I have sold uh, three out of my four vehicles because of the problem of the last one. I want uh, our governor, which I'm among those who campaigned for him, he disappointed us, the drivers, uh, by last month. Because I don't want them, what, only what I need is that let them go for a refresh course and know what, the, uh, you, know, you know, the traffic laws. You understand me? If it's a fine of 500 naira, why are they going to give a driver 100,000, 120,000? And the most of our vehicle is not up to 100,000. And then they give it, and that's why you see the vehicle parked there. At times they sell it for their self auction. They dispose it to among themselves, and uh, you know. So that's the problem. Let them send them to a refresh course, you know, to teach them. Many of them, they are harassing us so much.